John McGuinness, this has been an amazing year for you. Tell us about it. Well, the TT was the icing on the cake for me. You know, it's. Uh, Started off a bit steady. I finished fourth and in the first race, and you know I wasn't too despondent about it because I was going okay. I had a few little problems in the race and stuff, but I don't know. John McGuinness came out of retirement on Friday, I think, and uh, had a good rest on the Thursday. And the senior TT was just—it's probably one of my best rides ever. I think that uh, a lot of people have said, "Where did you get that from?" We never thought you could do it again, uh, which makes it even sweeter. You know, it was. Uh, I knew in my own head that I could still win, and uh, my team, mechanics, family, everybody thought, still thought I could win, but a lot of people had written me off, so it felt unbelievably sweet to win that race. And, you know, new stand, fastest ever standing start lap, new lap record, and averaged over 130 with the pit stop, so, you know, I'm still buzzing about it now. It's weeks ago, and I'm still thrilled and buzzing, and people are still talking about it, and, uh, you know, we, we get to do the classic TT now, and. Uh, I'm going to try and enjoy it, you know, enjoy the mountain circuit. It's the best track in the world and riding a great little green pattern for Roger Winfield. And, uh, but yeah, we've, we've just, we has been a great year, you know, I've been enjoying it. I'm enjoying me racing again. Last year was a struggle. My wrist was, was destroyed last year and, uh, you know, it took a long, long time to repair and, and now it's, it's good again. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're enjoying the racing and, you know, winning an odd one or two TTs again. So fantastic. So the rumors are not true. You're not going to retire. I don't want to, you know, I, I, I think to myself, I've done 18 and 19 TTs and nothing left to prove, but, you know, you, you, I look at other sportsmen like Valentino Rossi, you know, he's got all the money in the world, he's got everything, nothing to prove, but he's still, he's still racing, he's still winning, he's leading the MotoGP World Championship, so, you know, Greg Hancock's 45 years old, World Speedway Champion, so you can still do it, and, and I want to do it, and uh, I still... Uh, you know, it's it's just something that's in my blood, and I, I, it won't let go of me. That's that's the trouble, you know. But uh, I was so excited yesterday. I did a twenty odd hour drive, you know, behind the wheel, and I, all I wanted to do was get on the other man. You know, it was. Uh, I turned up yesterday, and I, that half of my brain saying go to sleep, and I was looking around the paddock at all the bikes and the teams and the people and the atmosphere in the paddock was just awesome. So. You know, I don't. I don't want to retire just yet. I think there's. A, I think there's maybe a year or two in it as well left in me. Maybe. If you do retire, what would be your best racing memory so far? <sighs> I'm so privileged that, that, that there's so many. You know, that, that wins and uh, and events I've done, and you know, uh, Grand Prix and Macau Grand Prix, and obviously the TTs where I've had most of my success. But I tell you that. That race a few weeks ago, that senior TT win was 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 way up there. You know what I mean? But my old seven, the old seven race in senior, I was I mean I was off, I got away at the front and wasn't really under much pressure. But I did the first 130. You know, I remember that just the sun being so hot and the atmosphere and the crowd all the way around the circuit. It was just stunning. And my first win, you always remember the first win. But uh, they've all been they've all had great memories for different reasons different bikes two strokes four strokes v twins for the 400 singles you know i've ridden every single class and uh, you know the we'd have to be here for a long time if i brought all the memories up but i think seeing 2013 senior uh, and 2015 senior was, was probably my strongest i've ever ridden around here there's a new crop of races coming up who'd you rate um uh, lee johnson got a lot of time for lee uh you know, he's a little cheeky little fella, you know, from Ireland, and uh, he's working with a with a great team, you know, and uh, he just goes about his business on his own, you know, with, with, that, with that team around him, and, you know, three Ulster Grand Prix, uh, he's on the podium a couple of times at the TT, and, you know, Peter Hickman, you can't say enough about Peter Hickman, you know, 131.6 in year two, uh, winning the Ulster Grand Prix, you know, the, the, uh, Dean Harrison, there's Ivan Linton, there's, there's, I mean, there's, goes on and on you know what I mean and I was talking to Dean Harrison he did 130 from a standing start he wasn't even you know he was just scraped into the top 10 you know in the senior so that's how competitive it is but uh, there's, there's half a dozen solid riders James Healy is there now he's not a youngster but he's 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 making his mark now and you know the list goes on again Sponsorship's important sure who are in the shop here they sponsor the sidecar events they have for a few years now that's important local companies sponsoring the, the TT isn't it yeah, absolutely. It's great to see, you know. And over the years, there has been a lot of local support for, with for riders and sponsoring uh, separate races. And 
you know, we are, we are these people, we're, we're not going racing, you know, they, they, they help out and, uh, you know, they, it's not only the sponsorship money they put in, they're also the product they give us, they, they give us all old phones and a bit of, bit of data to use because it's very expensive on the man to use your own phone. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, Sarah and the team done a good job here. You know, I remember opening the shop in 2007 with a load of the boys and, uh, you know, we're now in 2015 going strong and, uh, yeah, long may it continue, you know, they do a, do a fantastic job and, you know, I need a sure mobile sticker on my helmet this year somewhere on the line, but uh, <laughs> we'll sneak one of them on somewhere. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to ask her nicely. <laughs> What's the best bit of advice you've been given on your road to success? It was probably off Ian Duff a few years ago. It was when my kids arrived, to be honest. First, first uh, son was you, and then you just said, you know, make, make sure the kids revolve around your life, not you revolve around the kids' life, because, you know, some people when kids come along that everything stops and you, everything changes, and, you know, we never did that. We carried on racing and was more determined to be successful at racing, and, uh, you know, we were doing World Super Sport, and we took, him, took you and all over the world with us, and, uh, you know, and... It, it never interfered with the programme we were doing and now that the kids are growing up and they're, they're great kids and things but uh, you know Jim Moody was pretty instrumental early on in my career you know with, with a bit of you know a bit of determination a bit of balance a bit of a bit of just being in the right place at the right time what advice would you give to somebody who wants to get involved in motorsport motorcycling in general I uh, do it for the right reasons do it because you want to enjoy it you know and uh, I remember I grew up around the bikes and you know I, I, there's been nothing else in my life. It's just been bikes, bikes since I was I can ever remember. But uh, you know, just walk before you run. Just you know, make sure you've got some good people around you. You've got uh, good bike preparation, good team, and, and and like you say, and then enjoy it. You know, when you're enjoying the bike racing, and everything's working good, and uh, the results will come eventually. You know, be patient as well. You know, you can't you can't just rock up at races and all of a sudden be right at the front. You've got to serve your time. Uh, you know get everything right and a little bit of luck and, and you can be successful. The TT has had to change over the years. How do you see the TT's direction going at the moment? Obviously, the audience that it has is worldwide. I think it's fantastic. You know, I've been here, you know, I first did it in 96 and, you know, it was big then. It was big. It always has been big. You know, that's why it's 108 years old, you know, because it's it still draws people across, the fans, the riders, newcomers, you know, the... The sponsors, the manufacturers, everybody still has a huge part of everybody's life, and uh, you know I've, the part of it, the prep, you know the the professionalism of it, you know the marshalling's better, the the riders have a say in everything now. You know we're all part of it. We have rider liaison offices that we can go and speak to. We can speak to the organisers, and you know our views uh, is accounted for. But uh, it's you know the the track's still the same track. You know it's still a hell of a long difficult circuit but uh, we definitely feel as riders more part of it and uh, it's definitely boosted my career it's been unbelievable it changed my life completely with the you know the media and uh, all the coverage on the telly and you know people now can the tt the people would hear about it or read the, the papers and they would never really see it but like each night after practice in the races it's, it's in everybody's front room so and uh, you know i can see that you know, I still travel around everywhere, travel the world and uh, go to different places and it's not long before we're talking about the TT and, and it's amazing how many people want to come to the TT to actually see it and then when they do come to see it, nobody's disappointed, you know. You can go to Ibiza on holiday or something and have a bad hotel or, or, or the weather's rubbish or something like that but I've never heard anybody say they've not had a good time when they come to the TT. You know? So that's, that's pretty, uh, I think that's pretty special.